we're here with Jay um, uh, in Max Medical Body Hair Transplant Clinic and he had his procedure done yesterday, it was done all on the same day. We did the robotic site making, that means that we created um, uh, this, the plant, the little nix with the robot. Uh, what is nice about this part is it, it actually had a couple procedures before, it had a two strip procedures, so when we place those incisions to uh, to improve the outcome, the, the robot was able to see every single previous graft and it's the best way to avoid any injury to the grafts, okay? Um, and then we continued and we did the robotic uh, uh, harvesting and and, um, and we placed the grafts right where it needs to be. Uh, as you can see, it's doing perfectly fine. <laughs> you can share some of the experience from yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I, like you said, I've done, like Doctor said, I've done two before this. Uh, this is by far and away a better procedure. Um, it took much longer, but in a good way. The recovery was significantly less painful. Uh, I could tell that it was much more effective when I did the strip surgeries. I think they're taking three grafts into one placing where you do one, 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 and I felt just looking in the mirror, I could tell it's significantly better, much more effective this way. And it's also more natural because yeah. uh, the robot takes the actual follicular unit and, it, and we preserve it as it is intended to be. So yes. if we have a follicular unit with three hairs, we're gonna take the robot can selectively target those follicular units with higher density. Yeah. So you actually, you get it, let's say at 1500 grams like, like uh, yeah. Jay did, Okay, he actually got about 5,000 hairs. Yeah. Okay, that's what is important to realize that graft is not equal hairs in robotic care restoration. Plus, you, you had some swelling, right, right after your strip Oh, surgery. yeah, so after the strip surgery, they weren't um, as adamant about how I slept, so I slept incorrectly and I had horrible swelling all over my face. One of my eyes was swollen completely shut. I have no swelling today, which is crazy. Right. Um, yeah, it's actually it's much better. When I did the strip scars, my, my big problem was when you looked through my hair, you could see the independent follicles. It kind of didn't look natural enough. Yes. That's why I came for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can already tell just by the way it's been grafted that it's it's much better. Absolutely. And there's no scar. There's no scar, yes. Yeah. So yeah. even if we'll show you a little bit is actual uh, um, harvest inside. It's the next day of the procedure, and you can hardly see those. Uh, um, um, uh, little incisions and uh, yeah. after three to four days it's going to be completely invisible which is no evidence of the procedure yeah and so overall it's much easier to tolerate right it yes was, you, you think that the pain level is pain level was better um there was nothing the real issue for me personally with the strip surgery was even though you don't feel them making that strip you feel yes. it there's no pain but you can feel what's happening and it's traumatic you know yes. versus there is no scar i don't feel you ripping this out of my head right. it was boom 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 it was longer but i would much prefer the time being longer in the surgery with this one versus doing it quicker with that strip scar i would right. i didn't want to do that ever again yes. this one i could do so this I'm one was very you yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're you're comfortable even to, to yeah. a little longer right yeah okay very comfortable Perfect. Yeah. So we'll keep you updated. Uh, Jay is going to be back for his PRP treatment. We we give uh, PRP treatment right uh, at two months, and then another treatment. Then we'll, uh, we'll we'll get we'll keep you posted. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.